All right, welcome to part five of making a game character. So this is what we have so far. And the next step that I would like to do before we um, jump back into Maya and combine some of the UVs, like the hair, for example, the side hair and the top hair, um, ultimately, because this is a game model, I would like all of this to be in the one UV sheet before we go into substance uh, for painting. But before we do that, there's one other thing that I would like to do, and that is to add a uh, cape to this character. I think uh, it would be cool if it was kind of hanging, maybe, you know, kind of dipping in, and maybe there's a cloth that's hanging, and maybe it's even ripped a little bit in the bottom. So something like that. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and create that real quick. So I think the easiest thing to do uh, would be to, um, I'm going to click on this other sub tool in my tools, just click on this uh, star. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to append a uh, box and I'm going to click on my box layer and let's make it, uh, I'm going to click on make poly 3D. As soon as I do, you can see a new sub tool was created, um, was just the box, right? And now we can actually uh, sculpt on it. So I'm going to flatten this to something like this. And let's go ahead and give ourselves some resolution right now. Uh, this is not enough, right? So I'm going to dynamesh this kind of high. Let's see what that uh, gives us. So that gave me 1.2 million. I think that's uh, pretty good. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to literally just draw the uh, the cape that I want using my mask. So I'm going to go to draw, grab my standard brush, and using the control key, I'm just going to mask out the shape of the cape that I would like. So I would like it to kind of dip in like this, and then maybe maybe kind of taper out a little bit, and then maybe have a couple. you know, something like this on the bottom. And I'm not uh, looking to have a final perfect shape for this. I'm, I just kind of need uh, sort of a base shape that I can begin to sculpt on. And something like this should work. So let's go ahead and draw out the shape that we want. You can also, again, hold on Control and Alt to clean this up if you needed to. Kind of a basic generic cake looking thing okay and another thing we could do that's kind of fun is we can make your brush a little bit small and then holding on control and alt um, we could make some holes in this and using the control key we can kind of go in and maybe make them a little more interesting so I think it would be kind of fun if uh, there was a couple rips. Maybe he's been through some uh, battles. All right, so once I've uh, done this, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Extract, and let's pl press Extract and see what that looks like. So that gave us a mesh, and I'm gonna say Accept. And I no longer need the uh, actual box, so I'm gonna delete the box by uh, pressing Delete. All right, so now we're left with this uh, ugly thing. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, press Control and drag to remove any kind of masking. And I'm gonna jump out of the perspective view and holding on the Shift key, I can kind of snap to the, um, uh, to the side. And then I'm gonna hold on Control and Shift and go up here to the brush and then while holding the control and shift the entire time. I'm gonna grab this knife tool. And now holding down control and shift, you can drag a selection and just cut out the parts of the mesh that uh, you don't need. All right, and now uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this access here. So I'm gonna hold on control key and just make a selection and come here and do a split, split uh, masks. And I'm just gonna delete the mask. So now I'm just left with this, right? So this is uh, pretty
pretty perfect for what I'm looking to do. Um, if I look at the polyframe, I could see that this is a little bit too heavy. So let's go ahead and jump into geometry. Z remesher. And I'm gonna make sure that the, the uh, keep groups is on. And let's just go ahead and Z remesh this. All right, so it gave us something like this. Um, I can also go to half and let's do uh, half of this and maybe do another one. So I think this, uh, this should work. I'm actually gonna grab this green one and do a control shift and click. So that's gonna give me just one plane. And if you wanted to, you could uh, turn on a uh, double. So it's one plane on both sides. And the double is located in tools uh, display properties double. So if you go to uh, tools and then go down to display properties, uh, the, here's the button that will allow you to see both sides. And the other thing I'm gonna do is press delete hidden. And again, this was in tool geometry delete hidden, hidden. Okay. So, all right. So now I have this base shape. Let's go ahead and um, go to sub tools. If you wanted to, you could rename this and call it Cape. We can then jump to our uh, character and let's find where our character is. Here he is. All right, so now let's go ahead and go in our perspective view and let's go ahead and um, append the cape that we made. So I'm gonna grab it here. All right, so I can see it down there and it's definitely very small. So I'm going to size this up. And I can also go to move. And let's go ahead and center it. And then scale this up. Holding down the shift key, you can rotate this 90 degrees and maybe put it in better position. All right. Next, I'm going to grab my move tool, make my move tool kind of large. I'm going to turn X symmetry on. And let's go ahead and kind of shape this a little better. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is, let's go ahead and move this out a little bit. And what I'm looking to do is taking, I wanna take kind of these points here and put them on the shoulders. And you can use the smooth tool. What I would like to do is uh, let's use the uh, cloth uh, simulation to kind of drop this down. And before we do, we can also grab something like the uh, pinch brush. And I'm going to turn off symmetry. And we could pinch the bottoms of this, of this cape, to maybe uh, create kind of sharper edges. All right, so that's kind of uh, interesting. Now let's go ahead and go to our uh, dynamics and I'm gonna close this material. So let's go to dynamics and bring this guy over here. And let's, look, let's see if we can actually um, use the cloth simulation to drop the cape down in the realistic way using uh, the ZBrush uh, simulation right in here. So to do this, um, what I need to do is I need to mask out the points that I don't want to move. So all of these points here should be uh, masked. And now if I come to my dynamics uh, 
tab. Let's turn off floor collision. We don't need that. We, uh, I do would like to have self collision. And I do want gravity on. And let's go ahead and run the simulation and just see what that gives us. Okay, so that um, is a little too strong. So let's go ahead and turn down the strength. And I'm going to leave that at like 0.6. The gravity strength should be more like, let's try uh, some, something around one and see what that looks like. So you see how it's kind of settling in and All right, so I'm pretty uh, pretty happy with this. Uh, another thing we could do, of course, is come to geometry and turn our dynamic subdivision on. So maybe view this a little smoother. We can also give our cape a little thickness. And that's strictly just for the preview. That's not actually adding anything to the geometry. All right, I'm going to grab my move tool, make it again kind of large and let's go ahead and kind of move this around. All right, something like this. I'm going to make this a little larger and Maybe move this up a little bit. Now this is going to be rigged with joints, so it just needs to look like it's kind of hanging. Another thing we could do, uh, of course we can subdivide it by, um, let's go ahead and give us maybe a little more subdivision. And let's go ahead and grab our um, cloth. And what I'd like to do is create some creases that kind of flow along, giving me an illusion of this being a cape, right? So maybe it's kind of has some folds in it. Now we could use the cloth to actually create some of this, but I kind of really want to be very precise with what I'm looking to do. And I want it to be in a very specific area, so I'm using the fold, uh, the fold brush to kind of control it a little better. Now, another thing we could do, of course, is we can smooth the pieces that need to blend a little better. We can also grab our uh, pinch and make some of these areas a little sharper. Tool, I can make sure that this is kind of aligned well. We can also jump into the orthographic view and just see if this makes sense. Maybe bunch this up a little bit. So just add some flow to it, right? So there's some. And again, this is going to be rigged with joints, right? So
I'm going to create maybe a little more pinching here. Using the old key, you can also reverse, so play around with that. So the um, I think that looks uh, nice. I'm pretty uh, pretty happy with this, and I think the next step is going to be getting this guy out to uh, Maya. And in Maya, what I would like to do is maybe add some kind of a add-on for the shoulders, so it looks like the cape is being held, you know, maybe by like a little shoulder pad of some sort. And um, maybe let's add uh, some jewelry to him, it would be cool if maybe he had a couple uh, hoops, maybe a nose earring, and he definitely needs eyebrows. So let's go ahead and do all that in Maya in our next uh, lesson. And I think that um, we got to a really good place. So far. Alright, so what I would like to do now is let's go into um, our geometry tab and I'm going to turn off dynamic and I'm going to just kind of take a look and see what the geometry looks for the cape and um, we can turn the lights on. So I think this would actually work as a game asset as a cloth or, or um, for our character and um, I put it kind of far enough position wise so you could still see the detail in the back of it. And then of course if we add joints and the scape is moving in the wind, uh, the back will be revealed as well. So it's not like we're covering up any of the work that we did, so keep that in mind. All right. And um, another thing that I would like to mention obviously is that this is right now at 13 million, but keep in mind that the base of our character is very low, right? So if you go to the sub tools and select the actual body, um, and then go to geometry. Right here is what our actual base is, right? So you could see it went down to 12,000 instead of 13 million. That's a big, big difference, right? And um, this is going to be our game topology. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the 13 million one um, as a bake and substance painter to create the normal map. And we can, of course, um, decimate this so we don't need to deal with such large object but that all of it is uh, coming in the next uh, next lesson so at this point it's going to become a little more technical maybe the next lesson would be uh, also adding a few artistic pieces but then we're going to get a little more technical as far as um, doing the UVs and uh, texturing but then also uh, rigging doing the weights we can uh, create a fun pose for this character and then also maybe plug him into some motion capture stuff and maybe even do a couple custom animations as well. So we can, so you can take them to uh, Unreal or Unity or pretty much any game engine, right? So I hope you're enjoying this and I will uh, see you in the next lesson. Thanks for watching.